Let's talk about 1997. Astronaut Mike Fole here on the Kevin Bean Show. The show is called Secret Space Escapes tomorrow night on the Science Channel. What happened? You're on board the Russian Mir station, and a resupply vessel is coming toward you, and that's fairly t- common, fairly typical up there, right? Um, well, that, that is typical, but it's always automated, and they always do it with a radar turned on. Basically, we call it a transponder that tells, tells the machine, because it's all robotic, um, how fast it's going and how far away it's going, and it slowly reduces the speed as it comes into the docking. What they were doing that time was trying to k- save money, and the Russians were trying not to buy a radar that was made in the Ukraine. And they're trying to save like two million bucks. And so they made the crew that I was with uh, on board the Mir fly this thing by remote control using the TV camera on the Progress cargo ship, which weighs seven tons, to fly it into the mirror. But they did that not from the distance the crew are normally trained at, which is just about 100 meters, 100 yards. They did it from six kilometers away, which is and – they, and, they, and, and they gave them a case where the thing was going um, probably 20 percent, 30 percent faster than it should have been. So the, uh, the crew, unfortunately, didn't recognize how fast it was coming in until it was too late to stop. And what happened when it hit the mirror? When it hit the mirror, um, I was floating through to the uh, emergency, to, the, to our, uh, our lifeboat spacecraft called the Soyuz, um, because I was told that we might need it. And uh, as, I, as it hit, the whole space station kind of shuddered. I heard a kind of a dull thud, but because I was floating and fly, um, passing through to the uh, lifeboat, I um, didn't actually feel anything. I just saw it all move around me. Um, almost about three, four seconds after that, um, I kind of thought to myself, well, maybe this is it. Um, you know, I'm just going to die. But I, I tried to uh, breathe out like a diver does when you think your air is going to come out of your lungs so your lungs don't pop. Mm-hmm. But that wasn't going to do any good because I'd still die anyway from asphyxiation. But then <laughs> after that first... Jeez, this is the worst story two, ever. <laughs> <laughs> but after the first second or two, uh, I looked around and I realized that, no, the walls hadn't parted. Um, and um, instead, my ears started to pop. And so then that confirmed for me that it had hit badly enough to knock a hole in the ship. Oh. And um, it knocked a hole actually in the module, which I had been keeping all my stuff in, where I'd been sleeping, called Spectre. And it cracked. It put a hole roughly equivalent of about an inch in there. And so the air started to leave the space station really fast, but not like a, a howling gale. It was just kind of a whistle. And your ears are popping. And we had about 20 minutes or so of uh, what we call reserve time, where there would be enough air before we went unconscious. So we had 20 minutes to basically deal with the situation.